Leia here from leiaforsci.com slash MCAT. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the 2018 MCAT testing calendar and specifically what it means to you. So I'm recording this video right when the new schedule came out. So if you've been waiting for a long time trying to figure out, I want to test in May, I want to test in June, but you're not sure when, we finally have the dates. If you're watching this in the future, you already seen the dates. But what does this actually mean for you in terms of, okay, I want to test in 2018, here are the dates, how do I make that connection? So first, a quick overview of the 2018 testing calendar. I'll put it up here, but you can also find the image on my website or just check the link in the description. A quick overview of the schedule. We typically have the winter schedule, for a couple of dates in January, and then the main schedule, which goes typically from early April all the way through September. This year, they actually stretched the calendar a little, which is interesting to see where they're going with it. In January, we have 19, 20, and 25, and then the next test date is actually pretty early, March 24th. That's one date in March. Starting in April, it's anywhere from three to six exams per month, all the way through September, where this year it ends pretty late, September 19. So what does this actually mean for you? There are two things you want to keep in mind when choosing the ideal test date. The first is how does that work out with the grand scheme of things, meaning the calendar of ideal dates for application and submission and all of that. And the second thing you want to keep in mind is you. When are you going to be ready? How much time do you have to give yourself to be ready for that exam? Let's start with a cycle because that's more generic and therefore it's easier. Applications are very different in the United States and Canada. Most of the Canadian schools don't work with rolling admissions. That means they have a hard deadline, apply by this day, we're going to look at you. And again, that's most. Most, but not all of the schools in the United States have rolling admissions. That means the sooner you apply, the sooner they look at your application, the sooner you get your interview and so on. So the later you apply, the more people are ahead of you, the more people probably got a seat by the time you were even getting your interview, and thus the lower your chances. The dates are slightly different for MD and DO, where DO is slightly delayed, but applications typically open in May. That means you could start inputting all of your information, your essays, your transcriptions, all of that fun stuff. You can start submitting your applications as early as June. But there are two things to keep in mind here with your timeline. The first is that when you take your MCAT, it actually takes about 30 days until you get your score. So if you're thinking I'm going to test in early May, you won't get your scores till early June and you want to take that into consideration. The second thing to take into account is application verification. Once you submit your application, it has to go through a verification process where they make sure everything is there, everything is in place. If it's not, it'll get bounced back and that will cause additional delay. But if it is good, it does take a few weeks. Sometimes it could take five to six weeks. I've heard it taking faster. I've heard it taking longer. So make sure you build that buffer into your schedule and don't leave your application till the last minute. But we're here to talk about MCAT dates. So ask yourself, especially US students, if I wanna get in early in the cycle, do I think I can be ready to test and have it in on the first day, meaning apply in May and have it in in June? Do I need a little more time keeping in mind it's okay not to test right away? If June was the only time to apply, the MCAT wouldn't be given in July and August and September. I've had many students who tested as late as the September exams, got their scores in October and still got in. The chances are lower, they tend to be more waitlisted, but it's not the end of the world. Again, take all of that into consideration because the more important thing is you. You have to take you into consideration. Taking your MCAT when you're not ready isn't helping anyone because if you take the exam, you're not ready, you get a low score, you have to take it again, your timeline just got messed up out of your control because you were forced to retake, or you can take a step back and say, okay, let me wait until I'm ready and then take your MCAT. So you have to be realistic. If you're watching this video very early in the year, there might be time to start your plan now and be ready in time. If you're watching this later and you're already in the middle of the cycle, ask yourself, can I really be ready in time? What does that mean? Take into account the hours a day that you can study how many days a week you can study, 
and how many weeks it's going to take. For example, if you are doing full-time MCAT or nearly full-time MCAT because you're only working a few hours a week, that's very different from the student who is going to school, has kids, uh, has a job or a part-time job or any of those things combined and you're barely squeezing in two hours a day every other day, it's okay. You just have to take that into consideration. You have to study content. Give yourself enough time to know it. If you read through all your books and you don't actually know anything, it didn't count. After you finish content, you have to give yourself time to practice. Practice passages, practice reading, practice everything, and of course, take enough full lengths so then by the time you take your MCAT, you know where you're scoring, you know what's expected, and you know that you're ready for your exam. Moving forward, I do plan to create many more YouTube videos, but I want to make sure that the videos I create are the ones that you need, so I need your help. In the comments below, either on YouTube or on the website page, let me know what type of tutorials you're looking for. Are you looking for more content, like the science videos on this channel? Or are you looking for more tutorials and advice, like this one, like the scientific journal, videos like that? But type in more than just content. Be very specific, because the more specific you are, the more I understand what you need. And obviously, the more comments I get on a certain topic, the more likely I am to cover that topic. Until then, if you're planning to take the MCAT, but you are sick and tired of all the confusing advice that you find online, do I study for three months or six months or one month? Do I take one full length, 10 full lengths? What do I do? If you're tired by all the confusing information, I get it because my students have shown me just how confused they are. And so I went and wrote the guide to answer all these questions. This is a free guide on my website that will take you through everything you need for the MCAT from what the heck this exam is all about, which classes you have to take, how many hours you need to study, how to make a schedule, all of that. You can find all of this on my website by visiting the link in the description or going to MCATstrategyguide.com. That's MCATstrategyguide.com. When you sign up, you get access to the guide, but you could also download the companion workbook, which is going to be your follow along guided notes to make sure you know what you have to do, when you have to do, and what to actually pay attention to so that you're not overwhelmed with all of the information. I'm also gonna send you a lot of other goodies like information on videos, new tutorials, cheat sheets, quizzes, practice material, and of course, guidance, advice, motivation, and feedback because I try to share as much student feedback as I can. Let's face it, as an MCAT tutor, I can tell you everything that I know, but when you hear it from students who've actually experienced it, who've been where you are, the information is so much more exciting and I try to share a lot of that with you as well. Again, the link is mcatstrategyguide.com.